In a recent interview with CBS News, Republican presidential candidate Ron DeSantis expressed skepticism regarding former President Donald Trump's prospects for a return to the White House, citing the potential impact of the four criminal cases currently hanging over Trump. DeSantis's assessment suggests that Trump's chances of securing another presidential term would be exceedingly slim if he were to be convicted in any of these cases. This assertion emerges as part of DeSantis's intensified criticism of Trump, as he seeks to distinguish himself in the crowded GOP presidential race. DeSantis adopted a position that extends beyond Trump's legal issues, maintaining that Trump has long been a polarizing figure in American politics, making him a deal-breaker for a substantial segment of the voting population. This assertion was delivered irrespective of DeSantis's relatively distant position in the GOP presidential race. Although DeSantis had previously aligned himself with the majority of GOP candidates by pledging support for Trump as the party's nominee in the event of a conviction, his recent comments indicate a departure from this stance. According to DeSantis, the chances of being elected after a felony conviction are close to non-existent, hinting at the potential irreversibility of such a legal setback for any presidential aspirant. Trump is currently embroiled in a complex legal landscape, facing a total of 91 charges spread across four criminal cases. These cases encompass both federal charges filed in Washington and Florida and state-level cases in New York and Georgia. The allegations levied against Trump in these cases revolve around his efforts to overturn the 2020 election results, mishandling classified documents, and orchestrating hush money payments to suppress claims of extramarital affairs. If you've made it this far in the video, please support our channel by subscribing, sharing, and commenting. While DeSantis has previously echoed Trump's assertion that these charges are politically motivated, his recent comments appear to signal a shift away from this narrative. Stephen Chung, Trump's campaign spokesperson, offered a pointed response to DeSantis's remarks, insinuating that DeSantis's declining poll numbers were a driving factor behind his overtures to never Trumpers and Democrats. Chung characterized this as a new low for the Florida governor. DeSantis also sees the opportunity to critique Trump's fiscal record during his presidency. He highlighted the irony of Trump's campaign promise to eliminate the national debt while, in practice, increasing it by approximately $7.4 trillion over his four-year tenure. Notably, Trump's campaign refrained from issuing a response to DeSantis's commentary on this fiscal matter. In the midst of the evolving dynamics of the GOP presidential race, DeSantis's evolving rhetoric and his frank stance on Trump's electability in light of ongoing legal challenges contribute additional layers of complexity to the political landscape. As Trump continues to maintain his position as the frontrunner, DeSantis aims to differentiate himself and carve out a distinctive path toward securing the party's nomination. Please show your support, subscribe, like, comment, and share, four free ways to boost our channel. Thank you very much.